Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be eating only festive fear foods for 24 hours. Okay, so basically what a fear food is, if you guys don't know, I'll give a kind of brief explanation, is a food that which people have eaten disorders tend to struggle with or putting it simply, fear. This usually tends to be from calories, maybe high fat, sugar, salt, those kind of things, or even just really individual and quite random fear food at all. But that's basically what a fear food is, and I'm gonna kind of put a Christmas twist on it. So let's get into the video and start with our festive fear foods. Okay, so the plan today is we're gonna start off with some of the easier fair foods and throughout the day we're gonna build them up to some of the really hard ones. But to start off the video, we're gonna start relatively easy, still very challenging in a festive fair food, but we're okay with it. So we are going to go for, um, we're gonna do this. So let's make our chocolatey breakfast. Oats kind of recipe, but it's not just gonna be the typical safe, just oats, fruit. We're gonna go for chocolate oats with chocolate topping and chocolate sauce, which is scary, especially with like breakfast on Christmas and stuff like that, because you're having a big meal. The first meal of the day always feels a bit useless and you don't need it, but that's not true. You do, because you need fuel, your body needs hey, fuel. So I finished that now, it was really tasty, and in case you didn't catch what was on it, I'm just kind of like, put it all there, what was in it. Now I'm just having an apple, which you might say apples aren't fair food, but to me, apples were a fear food and they were stuff that I would restrict. And you might say it's not festive, but I class apples as festive because it's like apple and cinnamon and stuff like that. Okay, so hardly any time has passed. It's currently quarter to 12 and I had my breakfast at like, half ten so it's not been much long but I'm quite it's not been very long not much long that's, oh my grammar is shocking today but basically I'm going to have my snack now and this is one of the big challenge I made some cupcakes in a recent video not sure if the video is out yet as I said and I'm going to try them which is really scary because I didn't think I was going to be trying it which I know is bad and I know is really eating disordered so I put everything in it and I use no diet options I use full fat cream yeah, so I'm terrified right now, but we have to face these festive fear foods and I'll show you what it is. We have this very, very cute little reindeer cupcake, chocolate cupcake with actual chocolate in it and it looks, it's Rudolph. It looks delicious, so let's give it a taste test and not think about the calories, the fat, the sugar and all everything that I've just put in it because we are facing these fear foods and we need to get over them because recover life isn't about recovery life is about living and you can't live if you're always in recovery so let's do this oh it looks very fresh and delicious right. i'm so scared big bites remember That is delicious. I'm like, I'm not a cake person. I don't really like cake, but that is good. Like, that is good. I'm more of a cookie person, to be honest. But that is good. Mm -hmm. mm. Let's try the nostril. Although, it's chocolate bottom on top. gone I finished that all that was delicious I tried not I didn't think about anything else apart from how good it was and that is what I need to think about and I just need to forget about it and that's it okay so we'll just get back into video and I'll see you at lunchtime bye hi guys I'm back and it is lunchtime as you can see it is currently about two o'clock two three ish and at, for our festive fear food lunch we are having this is what i picked up from co-op a few days ago it might be out of date but it'll be fine 
is this Boxing Day lunch sandwich on white bread and it's basically, this is the description, a smoked turkey, smoked ham, winter slaw and spiced chutney sandwich on white bread. Now the reason why I've chosen this as the next festive food challenge is white bread to be honest and ham. Ham, I've not actually had ham in a very long time, I'm still slightly scared of it from just all the health things that come out. I know like my dad doesn't eat ham because of the health things because he's a bit um a bit disordered in a way but and also white bread because it's just I always have brown bread. I've not had white bread in probably at least a year which sounds really bad. I just haven't thought of challenging it and I saw it in the shop and I was like that's actually still a fear food. Let's do this. So we've got two big fear foods in here, ham and white bread. But either way, should we give it a little taste test? And I also have some pigs in blankets crisps to try as well and snack on throughout the day. Now, crisps are a fair food, they're fried, they're potato, they're a fair food. So, let's give this a taste test. That is amazing, like, no joke. The chutney, the ham, the turkey, the slaw, it all goes so well together. And even the white bread, it actually, white bread is so soft and nice and it doesn't, it's not worse than brown bread. It isn't like the evil stepsister of brown bread. It's just as valid in a diet as long as everything's in moderation. So it's absolutely delicious. I'm going to eat this now and enjoy it. And let's do a time lapse because I can't be bothered taking ages to edit. And give them a taste test. Don't really taste of pigs in blankets at all, but they're decent. So we're gonna stack a few of these and I'll see you later. Bye. They do not taste of pigs in blankets. I have no meat in them either. Okay, so it's a little later, it's now half three, and I thought I would just get another challenging snack. So I did do some baking the other day, and I tried to make a gingerbread house, forgot to make the roof, and then it collapsed. So I also made some mince pies, and you've seen the muffins, but I'll show you what they look like. So they were the mince pies, someone's had a nibble at one. And this was the gingerbread house, which was being held up by that, but it's collapsed but the actual gingerbread looks really nice so that's gonna be what I'm trying. Let's okay so here we go I've got a bit of icing on as well it looks delicious let's give it a taste test it's so soft like just so soft and nice like That was absolutely amazing. I'm probably gonna keep on snacking on this. I'm also gonna get hot chocolate because liquid calories are always a big fear food and hot chocolates are festive. So I'm gonna snack on a bit more of that and get in a hot chocolate and then I'll see you at dinner time. But that gingerbread was definitely 10 out of 10. Okay, so, okay, so I basically come here because the lighting isn't that bad and I have kind of a good light in here. So I'm not just in the living room for no reason, because it's pitch black outside. It's, this hair is annoying me. 
let's just just go away just go away that will do but basically i'm in the living room right now it is currently seven o'clock pitch black outside it's been pitch black since 4 30 and i've just got my dinner here i'm basically going out to my like neighbors for dinner and i'm just taking something with me because they've already eaten but obviously i can't film there because that's a bit I, could, I don't feel comfortable filming that, but I'll show you what I just bought to eat there and why it's a festive fear food. We have, let's see if it focus, a vintage mac and cheese with indulgence in creamy. Italian Sharif pasta in a rich, creamy vintage cheddar cheese sauce filmed finished with ciabatta and mozzarella crumb which looks absolutely delicious. I'm gonna be taking that with me and putting it in their oven and just cooking that up. The reason, you might be thinking that's definitely a fear food. It's cheese, it's fat, it's pasta, it's carbs. It's a big fear food. There's no veg in it, which makes it terrifying. And I'm terrified of it. I'm just trying to distract myself now because I don't want to go and have to eat it, but we will. We can do this. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> Okay, so it's now officially the end of the day and kind of we need to draw this video to a close because it's probably already long enough. And the mac and cheese was absolutely bomb. Like, I'm feeling really guilty now, but I'm just trying to completely ignore it, which is the best thing to do. Don't even try and argue with it, just ignore it. And for my night snack tonight, I've got this festive orange aero bar. Um, for, I'll try a bit now. But... I'm gonna eat them. Let's just try it. It's like orange inside. That is so, 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 so good. And basically, <clears throat> I'm probably gonna have <clears throat> Ooh, anywhere from half to a full bar of that. And apart from that, that's kind of the video to a close. I hope you've seen that trying fear food doesn't have to be really scary. Well, it is scary, obviously, but you can do it, no matter how scary it is, because today has been horribly scary for me. We did it anyway. So you guys need to do it too. Please like, subscribe, all that jazz, and I hope to see you in a future video. Bye.